I'll just drink my lipstick on. Hi everyone, today I've got a what's my makeup bag video for you, but before I get into it I just want to say go and watch my everyday makeup routine if you haven't already, because most of the products that are in my makeup bag are in that video, like I use them on my face, you can see how they look on, so I'll put that as an eye card, and you can also go and watch my, um, what's it called, my makeup collection, because you can then see all the other makeup that I own, I'll put them both as an eye card, I'll put them both as an eye card so you can like pause this video and go and watch them if you want and then come and watch this afterwards, or you can watch them videos after this one, it's up to you. This is my makeup bag, it is a Ted Baker wash bag, as you can see it's black. This is like the large, like, wash bag thing with a nude bow. I've had this makeup bag for a few years, it's kind of like expensive, I think they're around like 30, 40 pounds I think, I'm not entirely sure. But it still looks as good as new and everything, so I'm really happy with it. And it fits everything that I want to fit in here. I like to bring a lot of makeup with me because I like to have choice, I like to change up my makeup look. This is like the type of makeup bag stuff, makeup inside thing that I'd take away with me if I was going to on holiday or if I was like away for the week or something. I wouldn't bring this around with me like day to day and I wouldn't bring this if I was just like staying around a friend's house because there is quite a lot of makeup here but I like to change up my makeup looks and stuff and like for a week away it's like a good amount. The best thing in here is my MAC Fix Plus. This is like a finishing spray kind of thing or you can use it before your makeup, it's up to you. It's like a watery type thing and you can use it before your makeup or after like I said. It just gives like a nice dewy finish which I really like in this time of year, like the spring and summer and it smells like melons which is like so good. I then have my MAC Face and Body Foundation. This is just my foundation that I'd wear if I was going out to town or if I was doing something special that day or something. I really, really like this foundation. Now that I don't have oily skin, I can go for like dewy foundations and stuff. This is slightly dewy, but it's not like overly like shiny or glowy or anything. I really, really like this foundation and it's in a plastic bottle, so it's not gonna smash. Then we have my Benefit Hula Bronzer. This is just like the bronzer basically by Benefit. This is just like a matte bronzer. It's really natural looking. I just dust this around my cheekbones. I bring another foundation with me though. This is the Maybelline Dream Satin Liquid. I like to bring this foundation because this one is kind of pricey and if I want to wear makeup but I don't want to waste my expensive makeup, I'll go for this stuff. If I don't want to wear makeup, I won't wear makeup because there's no point, I can't be bothered, whatever. But if I do sort of want to wear a bit of makeup, say like today, I'm going out for a bit and I'm just filming videos, but I'm not entirely doing anything that like super special, I'll go for this foundation just because then I'm not like wasting this. Does that make sense? I don't know. Then have the Nivea Men Post Shave Balm. I use this as a primer. I've only used this a few times, so I'm not sure like how good it is, but it's in my makeup bag so I can sort of test it out and see whether I like it or not. I do bring another primer with me though, just because like I said, I don't really know like how good the Nivea Men Post Shave Balm thing is. So if I want my makeup to look like flawless and stuff, I'll go for this one just because I know that I can like trust it and I know that this is good. Then have my eyebrow stuff. I have the um, Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade and the MAC Foodline Brow Gel Cream. I did a comparison of these two, so if you want to go watch that video, just have a look through my channel and you'll find it. I just use this for the end of my brows and like this one for the front. I have six mascaras in my makeup bag. It is totally excessive and unneeded, but most of these are sort of running out and they're coming like towards the end of their lives, so I'm just trying to use them all up. I usually use like two or three though because like I find that one mascara doesn't do the job. I find that like one does lengthening, one does volumizing thing, and the third one just helps. But I do have the six because I just want to use the others up. So I have the Soap and Glory Thick and Fast, Maybelline Lash Sensational, um, Fairy Drops. Scandal Queen Quattro, I think this is. It's all in Chinese, so I can't really read it. L'Oreal Mega Volume Miss Mang Punky, and then Benefit Their Real and Benefit Roller Lash. I have my NARS Olympia Contour Palette. This is my absolute baby. It's got a really good size mirror, so if I need like a mirror to do my makeup in, if I'm like in a hotel or something, this is really good. And it just comes with a matte bronzer and a matte highlight, not a bronzer, contour powder. I like how this looks. It just like makes my cheekbones look good and it's like a really nice shade. You probably can't see, but it's good. You can see it in my everyday makeup routine. I have a concealer. This is the MAC Select Cover Up. This is just like a really heavy duty thick concealer, but it's not like cake or anything. It's really good. I then have a highlight. This is MAC Soft and Gentle Mineralized Skin Finish. I love this. This is probably my favorite highlighter. I just really like the color of it and how it looks on the skin. It just gives like a really glowy look. I love this. A lot of people talk about it on YouTube, but it's because it's good, so. But I also bring with me the um, Benefit High Beam. This is like a creamy liquid sort of nail varnish type pot 
brush thing, pearly pink colour, and I either apply this underneath or on top of my foundation depending on which one I'm wearing. So it looks really natural, like it doesn't look like makeup, it just looks like a natural lip from within kind of look, and it just gives like a nice like highlight on the top of the cheekbones without being like fake or glittery or sparkly. I then have two blushes, these are both from MAC, I've got a mineralised one and this is in the shade Just a Wisp. This is one of my favourite blushes because it's a really pretty light pink colour. It's quite um, shimmery and like sort of highlightery kind of thing. If I want a glowy makeup look then I'll put this on because it helps to tie in like the highlight and everything. As you know I don't really like a lot of colour or like intense dark colour on my cheeks so that's why I tend to go for like a light pink blush because it's nice and light without being too much and you probably can't see from there but this is like the prettiest blush ever. And then I have Well Dressed. This is just a satin powder blush. This is really, really natural, like, I would go for this one if I'm not going for a glowy look or if I don't want to go as intense in my makeup because this is just a really light pastel pink. It goes really sheer on the cheeks, so you can build it up though, but I really like this for day to day just because it looks nice and natural. It's not too much colour, it just suits me perfectly. I have a pair of fake eyelashes. These are the Ardell Demi Wispies, but I don't wear eyelashes that often, but I just have them in there just in case I want to, if I decide I wanted to wear some if I was going out for the evening or something. And then I also have a tiny, tiny little um, like mini duo eyelash glue in here just to attach them. Two eyeliners. The first is the L'Oreal Super Liner Perfect Slim. This is how it looks on my hand. It's basically just a felt tip liner. It's really good for wings or for thin lines on top of my eyes. And this is my favourite one that I have. And then I've got the Soap and Glory Smolder Curl. This is just a waterproof black eyeliner. And I sometimes use this to like waterline or tightline my eyes. And now the rest is just lip products. So the first is the Charlotte Tilbury um, Lip Cheat. This is in the shade Pillow Talk and it's just like a nudie pink sort of lip liner. This goes with most of my lipsticks I wear because I tend to go for like nudes or like pinks and this just works well with all of them. And this is just like a creamy sort of waxy lip liner. Then I have my popular 710 Sultry Sand Lipstick by Maybelline. If you watch my videos you'll know how much I love this. I just like to use this lipstick to mix with other lipsticks. This is quite a pale nude, it's too light to wear by itself, but some of my other nude lipsticks are too dark for my opinion, like all my skin tone they don't look right, so I'll mix this one with the dark lipsticks to get like the perfect shade. Or I will use this to sort of get rid of my natural lip colour because I don't like my natural lip colour, it's too dark, I don't really like how it looks, but if I'm not in the mood to wear a proper lipstick or to apply like a lip liner or a lip gloss or something, I'll just sort of dab this on my lips just to sort of make them look a little bit lighter without bothering with too much makeup. Two MAC lipsticks, the first is Blankety, I don't wear this that often so that's why it's in my makeup bag because I want to start wearing it more, it's just like a nice sort of brownie nude, I think so many people would like this and this is an amplified finish. Then I've got my favourite lipstick and this is MAC Flesh Pots, I love this, I'm currently wearing this with um, this lip liner and my next item which is the NARS Turkish Delight Lip Gloss. These three are my favourite lip combinations, I absolutely love them together, they work really well. Like I said this is the Turkish Delight Lip Gloss by NARS, it's just a really nice pretty pink colour, it's not too sticky or anything, it's quite opaque actually, like you could wear this by itself without a lipstick underneath because it's that pigmented and I absolutely love the packaging, like this is actually stunning. And then I have the Charlotte Tilbury lipstick in the shade Bitch Perfect. This is a sort of dark nude than what I'd wear, it's more of like a pinky sort of ready kind of nude, but I mix it with this quite often, this is like the Maybelline one that I just mentioned because these two mixed together gives like the perfect nude, I absolutely love it. And then I have the Soap and Glory Pillow Plump XXL. This is just the clear one. It's basically a lip plumping sort of tingly lip gloss. I don't tend to wear this as like a makeup item. Like once I've done my makeup, I don't put this on and be like, right, my makeup's finished. I sort of just put this on when I'm bored because I really like the tingly feeling. It's not really like, I, don't, I didn't buy it for the plumping effect or for bigger lips. I literally just bought this because I like the feeling of it on my lips. Before I end this video I just need to do a quick shout out to Max because he's an absolute babe and I love him so Max this is your shout out. So yeah, um, anyway, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you next week with another video. Goodbye!